hi and smaggle daggle you guys are right on top of it but hi guys sorry i'm a little bit late like i haven't been feeling very good today because it's been such a busy day i think i got overexcited with the pokemon release so i woke up late and as a result we just finished making dinner so you guys are actually going to hang out with king kong and i king kong <laughs> maybe we should name the baby king kong donkey kong and i while i eat some curry udon noodles with seitan and delicious bell pepper and delicious broccoli chips literally just finished making it for me and put it down on the desk so that i could start streaming i am so excited this is one of my favorite things to eat it takes forever to make too hey cinnamon bun how are you doing today dizzy oh it's so good to see you tonight emily haystacks hi oh i wish i could name a giraffe nessie for you haystacks it's gonna be a little bit uh before we're able to do that though because we are not gonna have a giraffe tonight we are going to be focusing on gorilla babies because king kong and princess daisy are expecting their first baby so i'm pretty excited about that all right oh hey casey how you doing hmm Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, good. Cinnamon bun, you're having lunch? That is so good, because you live over in New Zealand, right? Oh, and Haystack, it's been a busy day. Oh my gosh, the new Pokemon game has come out. So I was prepping the assets and recording that all, all afternoon, making sure I could get my Switch recorder like working. But it was so much fun. It's so charming. I highly recommend checking out like the game or the episode if you want to know what the game is like, because I'm really in love with it. And I didn't realize how badly I wanted a new generation of Pokemon until the ones we ran into. I won't spoil anything about it though. And no spoilers in the, in the in the chat, my friends. I know you guys will be awesome about that though. Not worried. Milo, hi. Oh, oh Milo, are you over in Australia right now with those fires? I'm really sorry if that's the case. It, it's it's a hard thing. So I hope being able to come in and relax with our wonderful, hopefully thriving gorilla troop will help you chill. And yes, it is Donkey Kong. Hey, Lucas Animals. Oh, can you? Your son has been busy playing that game all day. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, can you? I didn't know you had a son. That's so fun. Oh, guys, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see all of you. It's. I'm so excited that we've been able to keep the Friday streams going. And you'll have to pardon me tonight. I am not feeling well and I ran late on dinner, so I will be nibbling some food while, while we all get like together and say hello. Hey, fluffy head. Hmm. Hmm. We have too many pangolins, my friends. I think before we get going today, we need to sort our pangolins and figure out uh, what's going on with all of our animals before we start playing today, too because we are going to be speeding through a lot to have mini gorilla babies because we have not yet even begun the great escape challenge. I have I have not been able to do anything with that this week because it's been so busy. So we're gonna take care of our animals while I kind of eat and everybody comes on in and we all say hello. And then we'll get to having Donkey Kong's babies. And I haven't forgotten that we are going to be putting down our garl, uh, which is, the long-nosed crocodilian as queen k r k rule k k rule king queen k rule there we go i finally figured out how to say the name properly uh so that's that's the plan for now we'll, we'll take care of some things and then start waiting for the baby but how are you guys doing today oh ash feather i hope that you aren't feeling quite as sick today because that always sucks when you're feeling under the weather I know that feeling very much right now. Oh my gosh, I love these curry udon noodles. Mm. Crisis Wolf, White Wolf, you guys are both new. Welcome. We're having a little bit of a wolf pack invade us tonight, which is expected from our community, as there are many, many wonderful people who very, very much love wolves in our community. 
let's go ahead and we'll clear out the creepy crawlies, the extra babies that all of our insects and all of our snakes have been having whilst we get ready for the day. That is one of the first things we need to do with our daily patrol of our pixel sanctuary as we tackle the challenges that we're going to be taking on after all. All right, what else do we have? Oh, Michaela Hart, thank you. I hope you guys are really having a great night. I'm so excited to share some time with you guys tonight. How many of you have been playing the new Pokemon game? Not to distract from our adorable centipedes. Hmm? Hmm. Guys, our puff adders are starving. We don't have a zookeeper like taking care of them. What the heck, zookeepers? Come along. Did we forget? <gasps> we forgot the cardinal rule. Work zones. Never forget your work zones or else you're gonna have starving animals. Uh, not good. Very much not good. All right, let's add these guys into the pinecone plaza and get a keeper over to them right away. Oh, I'm so glad we're, like, normally I like to keep the game running while we're doing things, but I think it's a good thing just to say hello and kind of have everybody come in and to make sure that we don't starve the animals to death forever. Also, what should we call the Puff Adder exhibit? Because this is just kind of like a random, a random little desert we started. Should we call it Dry Dry Desert after that Mario Kart level? And then we could do some more desert exhibits, like we can move it eventually and make like a whole... I think I know what I want to do with the Pixel Sanctuary. You people are amazing inspiration because I think what I want to do with the Pixel Sanctuary, which is this wonderful zoo that you see before you, the very specialized facility that we use for the weekly challenges that Frontier offers, I think we need to make it video game themed because it's kind of obvious being the Pixel Biology like Conservation Center and Breeding Facility because now we have Donkey Kong. So what about we try to recreate some of the sets and scenery from Donkey Kong. And what if we have like Dry Dry Desert from the Mario Kart level that I have played a million and a half times and may have to play Mario Kart with you guys in the future. That'd be fun. I think that would be so much fun. Very, very cute, right? Nintendo Zombie Kid. <laughs> Zombie Kid, it's so good to see you. And that is an amazing idea. Nintendo. <laughs> that would be so much fun. That would. Okay, we're going to rename this to Dry Dry Desert. And hopefully it will have some food being hustled over to it pretty soon. But to try to make that happen faster, let's actually take a minute to... Uh-oh. Editing group. Oh, I hate it when this thing... This thing just absolutely sucks to have to move around. These ugh, water facilities. There we go. Down you go. Not powered! Now you're not powered? Wait, there, now it's powered. Okay, we'll move this one then. Hang on just a second, friends. All right, come along. I want you to move. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to move as a whole, as like everything about you should move. All right, thank you. No! <laughs> Sometimes, I swear, these things. Yes, the zookeeper hut. Move the zookeeper hut. Oh no, somebody was preparing food. We're just gonna have to hope that it's gonna be okay. All right, and let's put a little staff path back here. We'll, we'll manage, it'll be okay. We've got this. We don't have this. Here, there, now we have this. Oh hey, Reek the person, welcome, horse, mana. Oh, that's so cool. Manny, you're not late. Don't worry. We literally just started. We're having dinner together tonight, too. I have some curry udon noodles. Oh my gosh, I was pressing the wrong key. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have some curry udon noodles that I'm going to be eating while we get going tonight. And I'm going to need your guys' help with our new Nintendo Zoo and adding in some cool names for the incoming baby gorilla, which I'm so excited for. <gasps> Zombie Kid! Thank you so much! Gosh! Thank you very much for that. You're our first little egg into the nest today. I really can't wait to get some ostriches so we can name the ostriches after you guys because that'll be exciting. 
All right, hopefully that'll help feed the animals of Dry Dry Desert pretty quickly. And let's see, what else? What other problems do we have? Uh, the puff adders, they should be taken care of soon. Oh, they had some babies on me? <laughs> um, our puff adders, we have two females somehow listed here. And one puff adder is known as parse error in. Hmm. Okay, guys. Um, I think we're, we'll go ahead and we'll get a new dry, dry, like a new desert habitat to give to them. But I think we need to rename our, our, our puff adders and we need to give them some like layout. Oh gosh. Yeah. We have a lot to catch up on before we let the baby, uh, be born. Okay. So they had a couple babies. Um, we should probably rename them. So let's have some fun names of like desert themed stuff. And it could be any desert themed thing. But if you can think about the, what is the name of those little prickly balls that stack up in a little stack and they wiggle around and they have a little smiley face with the little, the little horns on top of their head and Mario. Do you guys remember that? Oh, White Wolf, we're definitely going to be releasing some of the pangolins. We're going to come back to the pangolins. What's the name of the little wiggly dude that I always hit with my cart in Dry Dry Desert? And I'm like, why? And he bends over a coin. Wily Puff? Pokies! They're called Pokies? <gasps> Northheart, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Kitten Shark. <laughs> thank you. You are so sweet. Kitten Shark, welcome. You now have your very own egg to watch after for the month. I hope that that just really helps you out because that's, that's so fun. That is awesome. And they're pokies. Oh, plant queen. Hey, I'm so excited to see that now you're following over here. You should get the alerts uh, here as well as over on our discord. All right, so I'm gonna name this a pokey. A little pokey snake, which I think is adorable. Okay, pokey. There we go. She's no longer parse error snake. She is now pokey snake. And let's come up with some other really cool silver puff. Silver puff sounds cool. Let's name this guy silver puff. Please don't die, Silver Puff. We will bring you... He really likes African grassland plants. We will bring you some some water, I promise. So, Silver Puff. And we need two more names really quickly, guys. Because I think we're going to keep all of these ones and try breeding them. So, let's rename Omar. Let's see. Oh, Sahara, Dizzy, that's a beautiful name. All right, where's my other... Omar, Silver Puff. This will be Sahara. Don't die, Sahara, uh, which is, ex this is a really good name for her because she's from the African deserts. And then let's grab Omar and Addy, Gobi, Gobi, oh, I love the name Gobi, Raven, that sounds like a great name because it's, it's literally a desert. And I love that we should name their future children after deserts. I think that's a fantastic idea. You guys are so creative with that. All right, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate this because why not double up since we can anyway on getting more looks, free looks at our snakes that we already have. And then let's add in a little path right here so people will do more free looks. And let's get a nice little donation. You, you donate over here. You donate over here. Thank you very much. Don't forget to donate over there as well. Here, and more, more donate over here. Okay, probably didn't need that one so close. But I've learned one of the key things you want to do with Planet Zoo, for all of you Planet Zoo players out there, is to be sure to go along and absolutely put as many of the donation boxes as you can and be sure to add in a lot of education and you should see a huge spike in your income. So you want to really educate these people and the more you educate them by just showering them with educational sources, the more they're going to donate. So I found that out like through testing it recently in Zoodestia Zoo. Uh, our our daily zoo episode. In case you guys didn't know, we do daily episodes of Planet Zoo over on the YouTube channel. And let's grab two of our new snakes. But you really, really, really want to educate them, I'm finding. All right, so let's grab Gobi and Pokey. And we're going to move them to this one. And then, did I move the right one? Sahara and Silverpuff? Oh, well, that'll work. Oh, wait, no, no, no. They're over there. And now these guys need a better exhibit for humidity so they need more humidity less humidity 
We'll have to come back and see what we can play with. Yeah, these guys need some more humidity, but they should have it pretty soon. All right, so that takes care of our snakes. Um, and I'm just going to name this Dry Dry Desert 2, because I like the idea that it's all part of the Dry Dry Desert that we'll build one day. Oh, John! Yeah, that's... You're getting a new computer tomorrow, but you don't know much about that stuff. So you're just going to show the, uh, just going to show the employees the Planet Zoo recommendation stats. That's hilarious. And hopefully that'll really work out well for you. Oh, White Wolf, thank you so much. I do need to add this into the work zone. You are so on it. You are paying attention, my friend. All right, where am I going? Let's get that work zone added in. Now we won't have extremely dried out snakes. All right, I'm gonna have another little nibble of my food. And then, Dana, I think that those should all clear up. Pokey and Gobi. Wait, how many? Okay, those just haven't updated from what everybody's doing. So I'm gonna have another little nibble of my food and then we're gonna start going through the pangolins and figuring out who stays, who goes, uh, who is too closely related to each other. And we probably should be escorting elsewhere. And then we will do a little work around the gorilla exhibit and then we're going to speed through to watch a baby be born. Hey, Casey, thank you so much for joining. You're going to be another little egg in the nest. <gasps> there it is. Okay, you're safe. You're good. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. All right, and pangolins are such interesting animals, star bullets. Oh, and actually, whilst we wait for my chew, chewing, because I'm hungry. Let's actually take a peek at the Zoopedia and see if we know anything interesting. Anything interesting about these guys yet? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> so when a female gorilla is fertile, she will slowly approach the silverback and attempt to get his attention by maintaining eye contact and puckering her lips. I did not know that. So I guess I, I kind of want to see that like on camera now. Like, I guess it would be like a little kissy motion lip pucker to get his attention. And if he does not respond, she will pound the ground near him in order to get his attention like, hey, babies. <laughs> if the bid is successful, the male will mate with her. The mother is pregnant for 8.5 months before giving birth to one baby, which she will care for closely until the infants are around four years old when the offspring begins to gain significant independence. At between 9 and 10 years old, young gorillas, both male and female, will leave their family group. Females will search for a group to join, whereas males will be solitary for some time until they are mature enough to become silverbacks of their own and form groups. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> An anonymous gifter has gifted five subs. Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you! Holy cow! <laughs> oh wow! Okay, yes, I'm water, bun of cinnamon, lucky king computer, swan feather, and mystic life. Mystic, hey! <laughs> Thank you so much, anonymous person! <laughs> we just had an entire little, like, group of eggs fall into our nest. What a wonderful way to, like, start our night together, guys. That is so awesome. Look at all the eggs. <laughs> Well, guys, we really need to get this baby born now. I am so excited. I'm actually going to put my curry to the side for a second. And we are going to go ahead and, like, take care of our pangolins. Because look at all of those ostrich eggs. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that makes me really happy. <laughs> Just to see so many people be happy tonight. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna have Donkey Kong, like, have his kids. We're gonna take care of things. Uh, also, the barrier status is really low. We need to go through and we need to put down having the mechanics come every three months to each of our barriers, and then the barriers will be taken care of. And we're gonna be upgrading Donkey Kong's exhibit today because it is not up to, up to snuff, absolutely not. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, guys, I love that. Oh, yeah, I want to get the little giraffe in. If you guys have the ability, I would love to see how long you want to make your little giraffes over in our chat. And once we do that, it is pangolin time. We have so many tigers. All right, let's see. We have roly poly. We want to pick the healthiest male pangolin to keep. So durian, is that you? Let's go through and see. So durian is pretty healthy. He's actually got three amazing uh, green levels. Oh, look at the giraffes. <laughs> that is so fun. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, guys. Look at our, our little giraffes will go forth and they will spread knowledge of our amazing long neck horses through all of Twitch now, which makes me so happy. <laughs> all right, so let's come over. Oh, thank you, Prince Mason. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so happy that you got the postcards recently too. That was wonderful. Oh, here we go, guys. We have our first offering. So do you think we should go ahead and release Boquin here to the wild? Because he's got really good fertility and longevity, but he's extremely tiny and he's kind of sickly. So I always feel guilty for putting animals like that up on the, up on the, hmm. Release to wild, send to trade center. Yeah, I think we should go ahead and maybe release them to the wild if we don't need them. What do you guys think? I mean, he'd be 42 points. Release? Yeah. And Swan Feather, you can still join the Discord with gift subs, of course. There we go, because it counts as a real sub. There you go. And Smaggle Daggle is on it. Thank you so much, Smaggle Daggle. I'm going to focus on figuring out which one of our males we want to keep. Roly Poly the second is deeply offended. <gasps> oh, Fluffy Heads! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! Is that him free? Crisis Wolf, I like that idea. We shall set the ones who do not want to be here free. Because that they, they deserve to be happy. Alright, we've got one more boy. We shall set him free. He he has really bad stats, so hopefully we can get out here and he can find a female in the wild with better stats. And I think that releasing the animals helps your conservation rating too, so that's definitely a good thing as well. All right, so that took care of our extra males. Let's see if we want to keep the females. So we have Mango the second. She is actually on contraceptives because she is not a very healthy female. Um, we have a little baby girl. Ooh, who has no fertility. But we have to keep her until she is fully grown. I think she's probably Mago the second's child. And as a result, she doesn't have very good fertility. Um, we have another female over here. Mm, who's okay. And she's pregnant. Should we, should we keep the pregnant females? Or should we go ahead and release them? If we're kind of like so-so on... I mean, Kazaline here... She's got okay genes. It's not great, but they're okay. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Enderwolf Puffy. I'm so glad to hear that you've been enjoying all our adventures over in, in Twitch. I really love doing this with you. Keep the mothers! All right, we shall keep the mothers, Emily plays. Keep the pregger ones. Plant queen. I love that. <laughs> we shall keep the pregger ones for sure. Oh, you guys. Okay, we'll take good care of them. Uh, but what about this one right here? Hmm. I want to make sure we're like keeping the healthiest ones. So let's actually check. Does she have good genes? They're so so genes. What about Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, do you have good genes? Okay, they're really just so so. I think what we should do is I think Roly Poly is actually related to the females, and I think Durian is actually related to the females. So do you guys think we should go ahead and get a new healthy male who's probably cheaper on the animal market and bring him in because i think we're starting to see the side effects of breeding a lot of interrelated ones or do you think we should go ahead and get like a new female i think we should get a new male because roly poly he only has like two top stats and durian is 10 so we could just go ahead and like if he has more babies cool but if he doesn't that'll be okay get a new male 
yeah, we'll get a new mail. And Swan Feather, it can take a little while to connect the Discord with uh, Twitch. If it doesn't work right away, then you can message either myself or one of the mods, and then we'll help you out manually with that. All right. New mail? Okay, we'll get a new mail. So do you guys think we should go ahead and turn on contraception for Roly Poly the second? Because he's probably related to all the females, and I think that's why they're becoming sickly. Because if we give him the contraceptives, then he won't get anyone pregnant anymore, and we'll err on the side of a healthier male. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll get a new male, and we'll turn it off for Roly Poly. Should we keep Roly Poly the second? Or should we go ahead and adopt him out since now we're not even breeding him? Not like he's only here for breeding, but this is the breeding facility. All right, and we're actually going to be looking for the Chinese pangolin. And we want a male filter. Keep him? Okay, we'll keep him. He is a special little one. Well, some of you guys are saying yeah, and some of you guys are saying keep. So, let's see. Let's see. Oh! Ooh, wow. Okay, pangolins are a little pricey tonight. Oh, because of how old they are. Okay, let's find... Where's the next? Oh my gosh, there are not very many pangolins out tonight. But this is a very healthy gold star little male. He's 14 years, so I almost made that mistake of buying a gold animal for a lot of points. That is going to be too old. You've got to watch that age, friends. Do we have any young? I mean, the healthiest young pangolin we have is this guy, but I don't know if we need him for 350,000, 3,500 3, uh, points. Should we just go ahead and get this really tiny one named Ling? Because he's kind of cute. Do you guys want to get, like, really, just breed specifically really tiny pangolin, even if, <laughs> I mean, I don't think that'll affect their health badly if they're just, like, ping pong we need to get him a name in ping pong and they'll be ping pong size pangolin oh my gosh oh oh my gosh right yeah we want to save points for more gorillas so let's go ahead and get the small guy and we're gonna name him ping pangolin ping pangolin i love it all right we got him let's go ahead and move him in and there's still too many pangolin, but their welfare has gone up since we've taken care of things. Whoops, and no peeking. No peeking at the secret things that I have hidden away. Oh my gosh, I, I love him already. This is going to be fantastic. Um, and for their social group, too many adults still, because we still have a lot of animals. Hmm. Should we go ahead and make a really small secondary pangolin exhibit? Maybe like over, over here. I think we should have a little retirement pangolin spot. And I think I actually have a blueprint to make that happen really quickly. Hang on. Pangolin. I found this blueprint that was just for like a small, simple pangolin exhibit. Is that it? I could have sworn pangolin pagoda. Oh man. Okay, I guess it's not really saved anywhere, but it was just really tiny. Teacup pangolins! <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be so cute. Okay, we're gonna make just really, really quickly, because I want to take care of our pangolins as well. I don't want to just be one of those zoos that doesn't take care of their animals. Uh, especially because we already have a protester here. Look at his face. He's like, I am here. I've got a job to do. I am gonna keep this pixel sanctuary functioning the way it should. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your diligence. I should be... Oh, there's litter over here. We'll take care of that litter. All right, let's get this pangolin place built really quickly. And in fact, what, we can we can go ahead because I think the pangolin will be okay. Hey, Bun Bun Magician, welcome. I think the pangolin will be okay. So let's actually focus on getting some some donation stuff set up around the gorillas and some education around the gorillas. And we'll work on the pangolin while we wait for the baby, because it's going to be a long time before we have the baby. But we're going to need a lot of money. And before we get the game going again, I want to make sure that we have donation boxes left, right, and center. And I'm going to show you guys the tricks I've learned in making sure that you get the most out of your animals. So we're going to come down. Everyone's watching them eat. 
You want to liberally sprinkle donation boxes everywhere. That is tip number one. Uh, tip number two, I think we're going to redo a whole bunch of this entire side of the zoo. And tip number three, which isn't really like an orderly selection of tips, we need to educate these people. The more education you provide, the more money they are going to start pulling out of their pockets, as they should, to help with the preservation of the natural world. So we're going to work on that. Oh, good night, Casey. I hope you have a wonderful time. All right, let's go ahead and grab. Oh, cool. Look at the African benches we have. <clears throat> These are really cool. I've actually never seen them before. I like it. We'll have to see what our mechanics are up to in a little bit. Um, oh, and there's even a little picnic canopy. That's so cool. All right, but we want the education. Whoops, I did not mean to throw a random picnic canopy down. All right, so, hmm. We could do education, edu education boards, just like that. We have conservation education, which we can put down. Stop that. All right, let's put down some conservation education. And then let's do some educational speakers about the gorillas. And the way you really want to try to do it is like line it up along the path next to where you have your donation, uh, your donation spots. And you want it to kind of overlap with, not overlap with the sound because they get really annoyed, the guests do, if the sounds overlap. But if you have them right up against each other like so, then you can start getting really good results as people become educated about the animals. So let's sprinkle these along here. Careful not to overlap. And then, and it, horse, I think I'll be streaming at 2 p.m. tomorrow, but we'll have to see. We actually have a family member who recently started chemotherapy, and so we're trying to make sure that we can be there for her. Uh, which I just mentioned kind of offhand, so if my schedule suddenly changes a lot, like randomly over the coming months, um, we are trying to help out with that situation. So just be prepared. I am going to try to stream pretty regularly, but that is, that is a thing that's happening that I'll talk about more at a future time. All right, there we go. And thank you, Swan Feather. We're, it's all extremely optimistic, so we're pretty excited. But all right, so we're going to come over and we're going to now turn all of these to the Western Lowland Gorilla. Very important. And these magical yammering boxes shall speak to our guest. And thank you, guys. That means a lot. Yeah, it's scary, but good medical progress has come a long way. And I'm deeply appreciative of that right now. We've learned Duke University is one of the best places you could be for this. So we're happy. We're happy we're here. Uh, but anyway, there we go. We'll get some Bengal tiger. You get a bonus Bengal tiger speak if you come this direction. Uh, <gasps> are people actually looking at my tigers? Um, um, <laughs> hang on, friends. Behold, Observe the glory of my sunken tiger habitat, tiger, my sunken tiger habitat, where you can come and see tiger cubs playing below your feet. And here we finally have people coming to observe said tigers, I thought. Um, oh, and Lucas, my heart goes out to you. Like, truly. Uh, I, I, I was so excited because, look, I mean, look, at, we've got literally three triplet babies down here. We have Copper, we have Amazonite, we have Ruby, who's going to be out of that crate in just a second. And wouldn't it be so exciting to come and look at these tigers by just looking down next to their gigantic, beautiful waterfall? So if you click on the person to see what they are thinking about... <clears throat> You can get a good view of the Western Lowland Gorillas from here. The view of the Western Lowland Gorilla from here is quite good. You can tell they put a medium amount of thought into the planning. Oh, Lucas! Look at that! Anonymous gifter! Thank you so much! <laughs> Oh, I have such a little basket full of eggs to watch after tonight. I will do my best to tend to them. Thank you for that. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, this is this is kind of hilarious. I, 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 I'm so happy about that. But also, uh, did people just not like my tigers? <laughs> We'll fix that in the future, too. We will definitely fix that. Oh, my gosh. And don't worry, guys. The glass can break uh, in the game. We need to come over. It's just that the mechanic was assigned to every year. We're going to have the mechanic come and repair this. And we're actually going to, like, redo this barrier in a little bit as well. Uh, all right. Let's get the last of those education things up and going. Education speaker. Education speaker. Western Lowland Gorilla. Let's come over... You can do different types of things on the education board. So I think we're going to do amphibian extinction crisis. So people can learn about the amphibians and maybe be inspired to go in there. Um, and then... Oh, I love it when the music does that. And then hopefully these people will become super educated, donate a ton, and fund what we need to get done to take care of our wonderful pixel sanctuary. So... Dizzy, yeah, to get the mechanic to actually show up every three months, you have to make sure their workload is good, and I found that you really have to train them to at least level two. Most of your staff will not even begin to become capable or competent at whatever they're supposed to be doing until level two, uh, which sucks because the higher trained staff you have, the more your expenses go through the roof, which is why you should be breeding cockroaches, uh, which reminds me, last thing to do, let's gather up all of the extra cockroaches we have. <laughs> So that you too, my friends, can be sure to have enough money to tend to everything. Alright, let's send them to the Trade Center. We've sorted our creepy crawlies. We have worked on our path. We're good to go. We're ready for Donkey Kong to start working on having that baby. There we go. The bugs really help out. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, let's do this. Now these guys are going to start becoming more educated and we will make the paths nicer for them soon. I think that someone's going to fall into my tiger exhibit. Pretty sure. Onyx, my boy. Oh, my boy, my boy. I love this big cat so much. Oh, your food needs changed, Onyx. I will go ahead and call the keeper in to swap out some of your foods. There we go. Oh, hey, Crisis Wolf. Oh, no, an animal is severely dehydrated. Okay, we need to make sure our keepers come and take care of these little guys. So I want to keep an eye on Dry Dry Desert. Um, Is a keeper on the way? Okay, a keeper should be on the way. Where's our keeper? Juliana, if you could maybe, like, hoof it a little bit more, that would be awesome. She's, she's headed over there. Okay, let's make sure that we don't have any animal death. And then we will go over and spend time with Donkey Kong and upgrade their exhibit. I know, right? They're going to be free snacks for the tigers at this rate. <laughs> Dracosaurus, step one to building a better zoo. Lots and lots of cockroaches. You heard it here first. And actually, the spiders are the best. So we'll be getting some spiders soon. And welcome, welcome, my friend. Welcome to our adventures. Oh, hey, Nate. Welcome. All right, we're actually going to speed this up because I'm really worried. Come on, hoof it, Juliana. Juliana, Juliana, Juliana. That's cool. I'm glad you're taking care of them. Um. Okay, please, please, please. People, get out of the way. Juliana, where are you going? Uh, okay, wait, these guys have enough food. <gasps> okay, I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> She's off to make them some food. She got them some water. What these guys need is they need... Are they okay? Layout? Food? Okay, they're, everybody's okay there. What we need over here is that the temperature is wrong for these guys. All right, hang in there, little ones. Holy canoodles, that's way too hot for you. All right, let's get your temperature down and down. A dangerous animal has escaped. <sighs> Amazonite, you little tyke. Look, look at this face. Dangerous animal has escaped. <laughs> I don't think so. Where's my little screenshot program? Look at his face, you guys. Isn't that just the most precious little dangerous escapee you ever saw? 
For a second there, I thought that they were saying that the gorillas had decided to like ground pound their way out and I was a little concerned, I won't lie, but that is not the case. All right, there you are, precious. Oh, I'm so happy. He's too cute to be dangerous, famous last words. <laughs> so dangerous, oh little fella, he's so cute. All right, that should take care of whoops a -dips. Okay, and the other animals are hungry. They'll be tended to soon by our keepers. Fantastic. <gasps> Princess Fiona is expecting a baby now. <gasps> you guys, that's so exciting. Holy cow, Donkey Kong is not wasting any time. He is definitely adding to the family group for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and work on getting their exhibit better for them whilst we, while we wait for the babies. Because we need some short grass in here. And I want to make this look nice for our gorillas. <gasps> short grass, short grass. I want to be able to see this. Oh, <gasps> look, they're grooming. Oh my gosh, that's such an important part of their social system. I'm so excited to see that that's actually a thing. Okay, we need to find the other long grass and get rid of it in here. None of the animals really like long grass. Those of you guys who are also zookeepers... Uh, have you found any animals that seem to like the long grass yet? All right, keep her to habitat to change out that food. We're going to chase down the long grass. That's going to be our goal right now. All right, where is my habitat terrain? There we go. Get rid of this long grass over here. Long grass over there. Unacceptable. We'll probably have too much short grass soon. <laughs> so let's grab some of the light soil. And there. All right, so Princess Fiona and Princess Daisy are both expecting babies now, which is extremely exciting. How do they feel about the habitat? Yay, terrain is perfect. They really want a lot more plants, which is totally 100% fine with me. They, oh, they're grooming each other. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love seeing, look at them. I feel like I have a family living here now. Gorillas are so close to being, our, they are our cousins. They're like our closest relative here on the planet. So it really feels more like visiting with cousins than it does visiting like with a family group than it does visiting with like the tigers, for example. Oh, hey, Meta, welcome, Meta505, welcome, welcome. Oh gosh, I'm so excited to be here with them. I really want to make this a great place for them and their, their mini babies uh, so that they really feel like, oh, the vet research is complete. Yay! Yellow anaconda research is complete. Hey, Oblix! Let's have vet Emmy start. Okay, actually we already have, we already have vet Emmy working on the lowland gorilla. Uh, we'll have vet Rosette start working on the puff adder. And then let's carry on with, many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Let's try raising those. That is important. There we go. The orange monkeys are orangutans and they're, I think, a smaggle level, I think chimps might technically be closer genetically, but I'm pretty sure I was just reading that gorillas actually are. I'm pretty sure I was reading something about that because they actually have almost identical heart problems and heart disease and dietary issues that develop uh, as humans do. And there's actually a really cool group of research going on over at the San Diego Zoo that focuses on, uh, oh, what do we have going on here? Oh, there we go. Wait, breed, okay, we bred something. We'll check that out. Our zoo has no security guards. We'll take care of that. Uh, but anyway, the San Diego Zoo has this really cool research that they're doing based on gorillas to try to help with heart disease. And it's so amazing how they use the same technology that they use for cardiovascular like research in humans on the gorillas. And often they consult like human doctors for the heart because in many ways, they're different species, but it's the same organ and it does the same purposes. And when I talked to the people over at the San Diego Zoo about the Gorilla Heart Project, it was just humbling. It was really cool. All right, there we go. 
Okay, so it's bonobos, then chimpanzees, then gorillas. Thank you, plant queen. Thank you, guys. I probably was all mixed up because I was thinking really excitedly about their heart issues, uh, which is not something to be excited about, but still. <laughs> all right, well, I want to try to get the view around here a little better. Let's see what issues we have really quickly. All right, they can't reach this feeder. Then I'm just going to go ahead and remove that so it doesn't bother our staff. And we have no security guards to deal with crime, which means we may start having some crime. So what should we name our security guard? The first security guard that we're going to have here in our zoo and who is going to be watching over our gorillas. And what do you guys think? Leonard? <laughs> Leonard sounds like a really good name for a security guard. Welcome, Leonard. Come here, friend. All right, so this is going to be uh, guard Leonard. Leonard, Leonard? Leonard. Leonard, there we go. All right, welcome, Leonard. I love him, he's already strutting about. He's gonna take care of things. All right, protect everything, buddy. We And then habitat cleanliness is a risk. Uh, the sunken tiger habitat? We'll call a keeper. Okay. Probably need more keepers soon. Mechanic research is complete. Good. Sweet, because I really want to be able to start getting... Um, let's do India theme, because I need those bananas. I absolutely need those bananas. Okay, we're going to have mechanic Phil start researching bananas, which I think is hiding in the Indian theme, so we can make the crates for Donkey Kong. And then the zoo has high amounts of litter, but everything else is good for right now. Leonard. Bonobos are only 1.2% different from humans. You could argue that humans are the third species of chimpanzee. Plant queen, I love that. That is so cool. Oh man, we're definitely going to need to look into more of that for sure. All right, and it looks like our mechanic is actually taking good care of the barrier, finally. Vet research is complete. What do we have going on over here? Good. Wait, what? We have an active disease? Um, <gasps> copper! Our, our little itty bitty, oh, look at him. Does he have little, little long cat? He has long catitis, guys. Copper has long catitis. What are we going to do? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of adorable. I love how we caught him just right there. Whew. All right. Hang in there, Copper. We're going to get a quarantine. So unfortunately, that means... Uh, was it the water? The water doesn't look that dirty. All right. DNA of gorillas is highly similar to that of humans from 95 to 99% depending on what is included. That is so cool. And hey, the Jerick, I usually stream on at 7 p.m. on Fridays and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. And we'll have more streaming time as I balance out the fact we're also still doing like three videos to four videos a day on the main channel of the YouTube channel. But we're getting there. So keep an eye on the space below the video and I will be updating with the schedule. Best practice is to follow me on Twitch or over on the YouTube channel because I'm posting in the community page every time we go live now. Uh, all right, we've got a baby tiger that we need to save, friends. Uh, so let's stick the quarantine facility underground with everything else that we have down here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make a cave and this is going to be a quarantine cave. So we absolutely need to build this really quickly. So flatten to surface. Let's do this. Yeah, I post on Twitter every time, North Heart, when we go live now to try to make it more helpful. There we go. We've got to make it so the vets have a secret cave that they can come into to take care of our animals. This is not happening. I am not having a sickly, oops. Did I just make a hole in the ground? I mean, that's the whole point. No, <laughs> the whole point. <laughs> Sorry. Oh dear. Uh, all right. Let's get down. Fun fact, if you have trouble getting down, Q is the key you wanna use. All right, let's do this. We could put a whole new staff section down here, including a staff room, which I think we need to do. 
But the trick is that we really want to be careful on how much money we need to be spending right now. So that's why I wanted to put things down here. So it's literally bare bones. We're just going to be putting down the shells of things. This is going to be like ground zero. All right, here we go. Get a little quarantine facility. Hang on. We're going to put it back here. And then let's go ahead and get a vet surgery down here. 4,000? Let's move the vet surgery down here. Do we have... We don't have a quarantine facility, I'm pretty sure. Let's double check to make sure we didn't be so silly as to get one. Okay, there's vet. There's a keeper hut. We have a whole bunch of mechanic stations we probably don't need. All right, so let's just go ahead and move the vet center down into the Cave of Wonders. Well, we really should save that name for... This is going to be the Bat Cave, I guess? This is going to be the Bat Cave. I want to save the name Cave of Wonders for another place um, that we can actually like have the guests go into and see wonderful things. All right, one second, guys. I know, it is kind of like an apocalypse type thing. This is the Bat Cave. This is where we come to be heroes. All right, let's see. Let's get, what kind of, let's do some little rustic path down in here. Come on, bat, just because the bat cave is down here doesn't mean it can't look nice. All right, we'll get this put in. Thank you very much. There we go, we'll connect those up. Thank you very much. All right, there. Because only staff can get on that staff path, so now the rest of our staff should be in the clear to come over here. All right, up we go. You you absolutely love this zoo. I'm so glad. We have a lot to do. It definitely needs a lot of progress, uh, but I love how many trees are here. I don't love how chaotic it can be at times, but we'll get there eventually. Let's go ahead and move this keeper hut downstairs into the bat cave. Oh, we should fill the walls with moss and ivy. I love that idea. I know, I love how you can build on the top and bottom to have more zoo space too, tigers. It is so useful. All right. Hey, 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 get in the bat cave. Oh, I know what I want to name this. We're going to rename this this keeper hut into the Batmobile. There we go. This is going to be so much fun. We'll come down and we will redesign and like spruce up this whole area later because that'll be an absolute delight. And we're gonna have to change the zone those are those go into as well. All right, uh, let's actually move the trade center too. Hey, Trickster78, welcome, welcome. We're gonna do a whole cave of these. I know, right, Dizzy? You can do so much. No, 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 Bat cave, bat cave, bat cave. You can do so much with this. It is truly amazing. All right, so there's the trade center. And I think I made it low enough. Let's actually check. You guys will see this trick in an upcoming episode of Zoo the Zudesia Daily Planet Zoo series we do. But I learned this really cool trick that I think I already showed you guys in the stream where you can come and see the negative impact on guests and you can see what ratio, like what radius different items have. So you can see here, if I actually make everything go a little bit lower, the guests will never know about the staff facilities. They will be like, oh, there's nothing here. But because the staff facilities are a little bit close to the surface, they know about these ones. But I want to have that baby gorilla and we haven't built over here yet. So we'll move more things down further into the bat cave later. Like we'll, we'll make it all go lower later. Na 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 back cave. Also, I don't think we need this many workshops. That was that was me being overly ambitious for research. That is not one of our big priorities anymore. So we're gonna remove. Sorry, buddy. We're gonna remove some of the workshops. Put one down into back cave. We have a baby tiger to rescue. All right, let's come over here, and I'm gonna stick this one way back into the back cave. There we go. All right. So let's make sure these are all in the right work zone. They have now changed their work zones. If you are really finding yourself getting in trouble with like, why are these things not working? Um, 
with with your staff it's probably the work zone it's probably that you don't have the work zones assigned properly and that really sucks but it's really 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 important to remember to just take a minute to do your work zones now and then all right there we go oh puppy bottle time plant queen i've i forgot are you raising puppies right now all right you can name a vet Batman! <gasps> we should name a vet Batman! How are our current vets? Do they feel overworked right now? Norman, why are you idle? Interesting. He's exhausted and idle. Hmm. He doesn't have a shop to work at? Norman, forgive me, but I'm gonna fire you then if you're just wandering around. Um, okay, both of our vets already have really high workloads. So, let's go ahead... We'll get a new vet. Let's get a new vet and name him Batman. So guys, I hope that you're ready to welcome. Oh, it's Batwoman! <laughs> welcome Batwoman. What should we go ahead and name her? What, like, what was Batgirl's name? Do you guys remember? She's all grown up, so she's gonna be Batwoman. Yeah, the cursor swan feather can be a little bit wonky. Uh, I apologize for that. I will work on it. Barbara? That's right. How could I forget Barbara? All right, so this is Batwoman Barbara. There we go. No, 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 Batwoman! All right, let's get her in here. We're going to have her actually... She's going to be assigned to Trail of Tigers, and we're going to have her immediately, hopefully, come in. And let's take care of little baby Copper. So, little Copper, I really hope, <laughs> fingers crossed, that he'll be okay. And let me reassign. Do we have enough vets assigned everywhere? Okay, I think all of that should work. Hopefully I didn't just make things absolutely horrible, like, and horribly horrific. We'll have to see. Uh, here we go. Vet en route. Disease discovered, vet called. All right, come on, Copper. You actually need... Okay, can you catch him? She's on it! Batwoman's on it, guys! Oh, she got him! All right, in you go, little buddy. Oh, I think Onyx is enjoying... Or Periot is enjoying that... Oh! Amazonite, Copper... <gasps> All of the babies have it! What? That entire group has it! You guys, this is terrible. Into quarantine. Oh, he's going into the little vet office. Oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, I think this is a panic time. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, who's the one doing the research right now? Nobody is doing the research right now. Okay, all right, who's studying? Rosette, come over here and research the active disease. Onyx! Not my boy Onyx! Mm -hmm. Onyx! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I build an appetite when I'm distressed, apparently. Oh my gosh, Batwoman. Have you saved him? He doesn't look like he's sick anymore. Ah! Is he doing okay? Tell the truth, Batwoman. Onyx? Onyx? He's okay! <laughs> Alright, so Onyx is okay. Amazonite is okay. We're researching the disease, which should prevent it from coming back. Batwoman Barbara is investigating the animals. She's on it! She's boxed up another one. I think we're handling this, guys. It's going to be a very interesting situation. But I think that Batwoman is going to save the day in our newly made Batcave. So, thank freaking goodness for that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, she put him on the ground and not the table, I think, because of how big he is. 
Um, because the, the table actually comes with the vet house. Whew. But all right, guys, now that that has happened, let's actually see if we're going to have a gorilla baby be born today. We have Princess Daisy and Princess Fiona both expecting. So when is Daisy due? And let's actually get them. Oh, I can't get them higher quality food yet because we're still doing research on them. Princess Daisy. Princess Daisy. Where is she? Oh, oh, here she is. Hey, Princess Daisy. Were you hiding in there? Nice. So she's due in November. So she's actually going to have a baby next month, which is going to be extremely exciting. So let's go ahead. I think we're doing okay on gaining some money now. Ooh, our ongoing expenses. Ouch! Predators need so much food. Oof. Oof. Dang. Do I have more... Do I have more exhibit animals? <laughs> Having babies? That's getting kind of risky. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, what's going on over here? Princess Fiona, why are you in a box? Who knows? All right. Um, Pennsylvania is about to have babies. We have a lot of pangolin babies incoming. Hmm. Do I have any empty exhibits over here? We do! Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to pull out my secret weapon now if we are gonna have enough money to handle this. You guys haven't seen it yet, but you're going to see in our daily episodes of Planet Zoo me bring Zudesia Zoo back from the brink multiple times. And I'm going to show you now my secret weapon and how to be able to make the most out of your exhibits, make money, and rescue yourself just when you are about ready to give up and think that everything is doomed forever. The answer is Brazilian salmon pink tarantulas. That is the answer. What you need is to have some extremely healthy Brazilian salmon pink tarantulas. Gold level tarantulas can sell for up to $1,000 a piece, and they have gigantic egg sacs with mini babies. So, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, Mystic, I know, right? Isn't that so sweet? I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, time for more insects. We should name a baby George of the jungle. Oh my gosh, I bet I love that idea. All right, what should we name these two spiders? Because we're going to go ahead and buy them. Because I have had so much luck getting gold spiders. Uh, animals of different species cannot be moved to the same exhibit. Well, this one's empty. So we're going to go ahead. Request exhibit animal. Dang it. I got a wandering spider. <laughs> All right. I wasn't paying attention. I just saw Brazil. Whoops. Sorry, Alejandro. We're gonna have to go ahead. Out you go, buddy. Out you go. I need the salmon pink. Salmon pink. And that's going to be Pablo. Wait, Pablo! No! He has zero fertility! Okay. Uh, just so you guys know, if you want to make money doing this, don't just, like, dive in with both hands and, like, start randomly buying infertile spiders. <laughs> We'll have to come back because I, I don't think she actually has a mate that she can visit with yet. Uh, gorilla! Wait, 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 The gorilla! Oh my gosh! <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. I totally... I messed up, didn't I? I messed up because I was so caught up in my little spider. I got caught up in the spider's web. <gasps> Princess Daisy! She just had her baby! She just had her baby, you guys. She's a mom. It really does feel more like having, like, cousins over. <gasps> Look at him. It is a little baby boy. He is healthy as can be. What should we name him? Little baby boy. He's going to live long. He has great fertility. He's actually really good on his immunity and his size. Look at the little baby. What should we go? Tarzan? I'm seeing Tarzan. I saw George. I'm seeing Diddy. Diddy? I think it should be Diddy. I think we should go with Diddy to go with the Donkey Kong theme. So welcome to Diddy, even though we could have... We're going to add in Diddy Kong. There we go. Because he is the very first one born. Yes, Diddy is not a gorilla, but 
you know, he's named after his friend. Okay, it's, it's, it's Diddy in honor of Diddy, if not actually Diddy. So welcome to little Diddy Kong. Oh, I can't wait to see what he gets up to. I really hope we're able to get him some more enrichment. All right, and apparently our pangolins are having a bit of a panic. Hmm, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start releasing them to the wild if, if we need, okay. Hang on guys, I'm just gonna grab the pangolins that we know we're not going to be like breeding. Roly poly, you hang on. I'm coming, buddy. Zalan, we might wanna keep her. Oh wait, where'd our new female go? Or our new male go? Are these, these guys are really unusually upset about being in a big group. Cause I have some others who are like fine with space. Oh, I think it's cause we don't have enough burrows. That's what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release some of them to the wild, even if they're semi okay. There's Ling. Oh, Ling has been added. You guys, it's Ping Pong. Ping Pongolin. There we go. Welcome, buddy. And he's got three, and he's gonna make tiny, tiny, tiny pangolin babies. All right, we should add in some pangolin education over here. You guys, should we go ahead and let Mango the second go to the wild? now because like space is getting really tight for our pangolins um we may need more bedding you guys are right let's add in some more bedding because i have a bunch of pangolin in another zoo and they're fine with like each other so i think that the bedding may be an ordeal perhaps all right i think i think mango the second she's ready for retirement she's ready to go somewhere to retire she's very very old so we're gonna go ahead and release her Go on, go on. There you go, Mango. She's gonna have a nice little retirement home somewhere now. So hopefully that'll help out. All right, and you are thirsty, my friend, which should be handled because there's plenty of water over here. And you are thirsty too. Are you guys stuck? Oh, I wonder if they got stuck somehow. Okay, we'll let time pass for just a minute. Let's go ahead and smooth this down. Oh, we're gonna lose a ton of money if we have all those protesters here. So we're gonna need to work on that for sure. Okay, I think that they're feeling better. Yeah, if you have these protesters, this is really bad and you will actually end up losing a ton of money. So you really, really, really don't want protesters. Yeah, I agree, Nikki. If, if that happens again, we'll mess with the terrain some more. All right, let's get some education over by our tigers and our, our pangolins so that we are not wasting opportunities. Here we go. Whoops, that overlapped. We do not want it to overlap. That'd be very bad because the guests will really fuss about it. All right, let's get some pangolin education down here. It's worth the investment, I find, because people donate a lot more. All right, are you guys still upset about my pangolins? They're protesting really, oh, because they, look, they're really slow, okay? They'll have their water when they finish wiggling their little pangolin rumps over. Also, okay, okay the protesters are leaving. Phew, okay, that's taken care of. Watching this zoo grow is always an interesting thing. Uh, let's get more pangolin down. Let's call a mechanic to come and repair. This barrier is literally about to fall apart. It is on its last freaking legs. I hope a mechanic shows up. Okay, and let's come over here. Bengal tiger. And let's get Bengal tiger. Uh-oh, I put too many down. Oh no, that's an ambient speaker. All right, let's come. One second, guys, Bengal tiger. <gasps> Princess Fiona is about to have her offspring. I got it, I got it. <clears throat> oh my gosh. M. Hansen, Mango the second. I'm just imagining a pangolin relaxing in Florida while wearing a hat and sunglasses. <gasps> she came over into the flowers. Any second now. Look, I think, is that just her belly or do you think that's like a pregnant belly? Oh. <gasps> Another baby. Oh, Princess Fiona, a gold level baby girl. You guys, what should we name her? She is super freaking healthy. She is fantastic. She is a true princess. I really feel like, what? what is another born standing clever girl, right? Can you, what should we name her? 
Princess Peach? Okay, we're going... I think we should go with Princess Peach. Because Princess Daisy had her. And Princess Peach is, like, gold-level awesomeness. Welcome to Princess Peach! Look at that little baby! Oh, she's precious! Oh, look at Donkey Kong go! He really likes climbing up here, doesn't he? Look at this! Oh, I love it! Have we learned any more about them? Alright, we've learned more about that uh, terrible disease that was going through. And we might actually know a little bit about bananas now. Let's see if we can pull up anything about bananas yet. We have bananas! You guys, yes! We have bananas now! The Indian market bananas! We can start decorating with bananas! Oh, it's raining! Where's everybody going to go in the rain? Okay, this is going to be so much fun because we can start taking the bananas and we can start making little crates with them and barrels. Oh, did you see that jump? Oh, these guys, that's so cool. Okay, we're going we're gonna to have fun working with those bananas in a bit. Uh, also, with the rain, I think we should get another info center down here. <gasps> Jade the Second's about to mature! The tigers are starting to age up, guys. Which, you guys know that means we're about to have some fights. So, we need to be ready for this. Oh, I can't believe the tigers are starting to get old enough to, like, leave. Alright, I need to hurry. Alright, I need blueprints. I need info. Can I get an info center really quickly? Pokey just had offspring. Everybody's having babies so fast I can hardly keep up. Uh, let's see. African info and toilet. African information booth. <gasps> Glory to the blueprint makers on the Steam Workshop. Oh my gosh. Guys, let's get this. Let's get this and put it right here so people can come and buy some amazing umbrellas. Look at how cool this is. Oh, an animal uh, king. Thank you so much. Dizzy, right? Doesn't that this look totally awesome? And Fluffy Head. We're going to have to like see if we can catch the gorillas puckering up their lips next time the girls go flirting with Donkey Kong to have more babies. All right, let's put this down. This is so cool. It's so freaking perfect. And it has inside of it a little information center that apparently we need to add more scenery to to increase its quality. But they will sell audio guides, adoption packs, and umbrellas. So I'm hoping that the price of umbrellas will... And we're going to raise it to six. Just because, you know, you're, you're this far into the zoo. Sorry, guys. I need the money. Mm, it's just the way it goes. All right. There. All right. So we have the info center down. Let's see Jade mature. I think we want to probably keep her. That means all of her siblings will be maturing soon, too. She has to have a bit of a, a moment. Oh, look at the tiger comes play in the rain. Oh. <gasps> look at them playing in the rain. I love this so much. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, Jade, she's going to grow up, you guys. I just want to spend a minute, like, taking some quick pictures because once these little ones grow up, I mean, that's that. Oh, look at her mom. I love how beautiful this is. Mom Ruby is the one in here. Oh, here we go. Tanzanite has matured. And then, yeah, listen to that happy little tiger chirps, right? All right, guys. So we have Tanzanite. And what should I do with the tigers? Should we actually, like, if we released him into the wild, <gasps> that's 520 conservation credits. Um, Let's send him to the trade center so that we can try to decide, like, what would be the best thing to do with him. Gold, the Bengal tiger, has matured as well. Let's send him to the trade center. And then I think that we can actually leave Ruby in with her... J or Jade the second in with her mother, Ruby. Do you guys remember if Ruby is related to Onyx? Because we could have more baby tigers. Let's go to the animal trading. At the same time, getting less tigers might be really nice because they are so expensive to feed. And then we could free up some focus on the gorillas, which I've been really bad at focusing on. So if we have, if we sell gold and Tanzanite, they are worth about 5,000. And if we release them, then they are worth 
apparently a lot less. I could have sworn when we were just looking at them, they were worth a lot more to release to the wild. Weren't they? That's really weird. Are they worth more to release to the wild when you look at them in the building, like in, in their habitat versus when you look at them in animal storage? It, it was, did I read that wrong? Like, wasn't he worth 500? Onyx and Ruby are siblings? Thank you. Okay, we don't want to breed them then. Hmm. Hmm. That's really weird. I think we should go ahead and sell them. Because we need the influx of cash. What do you guys think? Oh, Swan Feather, enjoy dinner! I think, yeah, let's go ahead and sell them. Um, because I think we need the influx of cash. They're not super healthy, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And that is very, very interesting that they actually were worth a lot more in conservation credits before we put them in the animal storage. I have not seen that before. Uh, maybe it's a glitch, but I think it's definitely something to keep our eyes on. Okay. So Jade and Ruby are hanging out over here. That should be fine. I can't remember who we have in here. Amber, Cole is in the Trade Center. Amber and Ash, oh, Ash! Oh, Ash, our boy. Okay, what do you guys think? Should we go ahead and move Ash back in to get more baby tigers? Since we seem to be handling things semi-okay? Or do you think we should focus on the gorillas? Oh, I'm eating um, some vegan curried udon noodles with seitan, broccoli, and bell pepper. Chips made it for me for dinner, and it's absolutely delicious. I am so grateful that he did that. Gorillas? Okay, we'll focus on gorillas. All right, so brisk sales with our adorable new little scenery. I love it. Uh, we'll probably need to lower the whole thing down in a little bit because I just realized the plants are floating. Or we could just put rocks under them, which would be equally as cool. And while we wait for the gorillas to actually have more gorillas... Wait, Pennsylvania, why are you in a box? There you go, sweetie. You shouldn't be in a box. We have high amounts of litter, but everything else is okay for once. <gasps> oh, no rewards, no rewards. We need to release the gorillas to the wild. So, okay, guys. Yeah, I feel like we only need one tiger exhibit. We're shrinking our tiger exhibits down as time goes on. So we're going to actually speed up a little bit. And we're going to start redoing some of these paths. And we'll just put our focus on making sure the zoo doesn't go bankrupt. And we're going to redo some of the gorilla exhibit. And then I guess we'll have to stop for our creepy crawly check uh, every now and then. <laughs> Here, we're just going to make this entire exhibit area actually viewable by guest in just a bit here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, staff. They're going to have a panic because now they won't be able to reach that. There we go. All right, so we're going to try this out. I'm a little nervous to like speed through so much, but I think it'll be okay. Let's do some glass and just hope the gorillas don't break it. Okay, did that not change out? I've noticed that this hasn't been working lately, unfortunately. Okay, let's come down here. I want to give the guests lots of ways to come and see the gorillas. One second. And I want to come and redo some of these paths. And then what we're going to do is, uh, let me check how high things need to be for the gorillas. Oh, get some, get, I hope you sleep well, Emily. Oh my gosh, you have been up quite a bit. <gasps> do we have some new gorilla toys? No, we have some news about the, like, virus. Why is it taking the Emmy, like, forever to do this research? We might have to, if we have enough money in a bit, we'll try to raise her um, education up so we can hopefully get a bit more going on there. All right, Princess Peach, how high should your exhibit be? 
just grade three climb proof. It doesn't really have a height requirement. So I'm actually gonna edit the whole barrier by bringing it all a little lower. Cross our fingers we don't have escapees as a result, but I wanna make some spots where the guests can actually walk up and over the exhibit. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the exhibit down to three meters, which also brought us in $1,000, which is kind of nice. Yeah, the snap-along barriers is going to be good. Research a day keeps the vet away. I love that, little coyote. Pennsylvania, what's wrong? Super stressed. Pennsylvania? Is it because you need... Do you need a better burrow? Is that the case? Here, let me try adding in. What do you think about that? And let me, let me give you... Okay, I think these poor pangolin... There we go. They need some better dirt. The yellow anaconda is now expecting offspring. There you go, little ones. Another yellow anaconda has had offspring. We'll need to tend to that fairly soon. Oh, Vet Emmy, you can't find an accessible research station. There aren't enough free research buildings. Who else is doing research? I don't think we have the disease anymore and I don't want to get another vet thing so I'm actually going to have vet rosette not focus on that research anymore because I really want to have like more gorilla toys. Check the escape points for gorillas. Oh smart. <gasps> Look at the family coming over to do some foraging. I love that. Uh, all right we'll check the escape points for the gorillas really quickly and we'll see how that goes. Buildings, animal welfare, where is the escape points again? The habitat. Nice! Okay, I think we're good. Oh, and this is so useful to be able to see where they can climb. Oh, excellent. We'll have to use that more in the future. The escape points are good then. Okay, our puff adders are having a ton of offspring. Why is Princess Pauline hungry? Are they not getting enough food? There is a lot of food in here. There's food over here as well. And durian is thirsty. Oh, durian! Oh, little buddy! Oh my gosh. Like, we really need to, like, fix the pangolin exhibit. This has gotten a little bit out of hand. To say the least. Like, I have no idea exactly what's going on. Other than I must have messed something up with all of my little paths. Alright, hang in there, durian. There you go. You don't need the whole big, big wide world looking at you. I know that you're a shy pangolin. Okay, hang on guys, my poor pangolin. Durian's like, free me! <laughs> hang in there, Durian. Okay, is it, oh, and now people are protesting again, which always negatively, drastically negatively affects what we're doing here. Let's check where our keeper is supposed to be. So there's our keeper. Juliana, you're doing okay. She's capable. The pangolin paladin pinecone playpen habitat wall need repaired. The staff room is so far away. Hmm. You should be going to this staff room. Pinecone Plaza. Yeah, she should be okay. All right. Hopefully, the, hopefully our pangolin will be able to take care of themselves. Dizzy, dizzy, dizzy. The tall, not, yeah, not the protesters. But yeah, let's just go ahead and do a little, like, a little water tap. Because these guys really seem to be struggling with reaching their resource now. So it wouldn't hurt to give them a cute little water pipe that they can, that they can come down. We'll even put it in here, I guess, to drink from. Well, actually, that makes kind of a mess. But at the same time, they like to be, oh, Okay destroy my spot will you uh if you're gonna destroy something maybe come in here down here there we go if they're gonna if we're gonna do something let's do it right here and then they hate grass they very much hate grass you guys are right let's get this this grass out of here 
We will take a day, one day in the future, to tend to our pangolins. But for now, we really do need to be zipping along. Pauline, are you doing okay? Pauline, are you stuck on something? Are you busy trying to flirt? I think Pauline's stuck. I'm going to have a vet take her to the quarantine exhibit because she's just spitting in place and I don't know why. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There she goes. There she goes. Okay, cancel move then. There. She should be okay. I think she just wants better quality meals is her thing. There, 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 there. Now she's coming over for some food. Okay, Pauline's okay. Poor Pauline. Alright, hopefully she'll be having another baby soon. Yeah, the exhibits are so out of control with the pangolin. When you move those buildings... Yes, I did remove them from the pangolin work zone, uh, Altopetra. And I did put them in... At least I, I put them in the tiger work zone. Let me make sure I didn't leave them in the pangolin work zone. Yeah, they're not in the pangolin work zone. But that is a very good thing to double check. Oh, and what we forgot to add into the pangolin work zone... Dun dun dun! Is our wonderful new little shop for selling umbrellas. All right. Multiple animals have low welfare. We know what that is. All right. Jade. Oh, 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 oh. The Jade Palace. Oh my gosh. The girls are fighting. I didn't know that the girls would fight. Did you guys know the girls would fight? Ruby and Jade are fighting. In the rain, apparently. Okay, I think actually we have jumped in here just before the fight. Um. Okay, we're going to send Jade her daughter, to the trade center. Multiple day, the days of our leggy lives have had too many babies and we need to handle that. So while we wait out the rain and wait, keep an eye on the alerts for me if you could guys. There's protesters. I don't care so much about the protesters. What we're really interested about, oh, we got spotted. What we're really interested about is actually, um, where's my, zookeeper if this place is cl not clean on their way i think but what we actually want to focus on is looking for those gorilla babies so let's quick move quick trade A mechanic research is done a spot find is when the inspector came by and he noticed like hey you've got some issues with your zoo and um, we're about to have more of the tigers mature, so we'll have to keep an eye on that, too. There we go. So, the inspector was here and he saw the protesters. And when that happens, he gets really cranky. A dangerous animal has escaped. One of the tigers... It's Copper again. <laughs> Copper is off playing by the... Um, playing where he shouldn't be, basically. Alright, hang on one second, friends. We're going to rebuild this path really quickly. There is just so much that always is just going on over here. It keeps us on our toes, all right. Let's widen this path to a really big one. Right here. Like that. And like this. Nice. Sorry, I've just been meaning to do this for a while, so while we have a moment, I thought, you know what, let's just dive in and replace this. Alright, there we go. And can I put this down? Not the huge, gigantic one. Alright, that's good. That's good? Mm, it'll do. It'll do. Uh, I guess if we're gonna do that, might as well connect this. There we go. Yeah, might as well just, like, make it all dirt under there. Uh, and Moonstone, the tiger, is about to mature. So we're gonna take care of her in just a second. Alright, hang on. I want to see if we could get more work, like, more flow over to our wonderful gorillas. And then I want to see if we can get the gorillas to have more babies. Hmm. There's something kind of soothing about fixing your path mistakes as time with Planet Zoo goes on. 
because you just get really excited when you can make things look nice. <laughs> 